Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here, back with some more of our Oakland Athletics Moneyball franchise. So I was going to play this first game. Uh, we'll see how we do. Bassett loses that one. It's Frankie Montes. This is a big series here. We lose to that one. It's a mixed game. Let's see. Okay, so this is an elimination game with Zach Johnson or Zach Jackson on the mound. That's a big one. And we've lost two straight against Houston. I think at this point, that puts us out of probably contention of the division. Yep, Astros have won the division. We are eliminated here, losing those. We are eliminated out of the playoffs, eight and a half back. There's nothing we can do here. Just with Sean Murphy going downhill with that injury, it kind of affected our pitching long term. So let's see what we have in store with the playoffs, the Rock Hounds. Trying to stay alive here. Let's see a little bit of ja uh, Zach Johnson or Zach Jackson. We'll see if we can't get a couple spot starts for Dylan Cease for the rest of the season. We look at Jackson, 57 overall, pretty decent, 24 years old, D potential. Uh, however, with this on the line, we want to go with Jackson and then finish if we do win with Gonsalves. Who has played pretty well at the double a level so it's all about can we keep it together here is the lineup we're going with right now we get to see some of our double uh, a players going up against humberto mejia As we have the Amarillo Sod Poodles against the Midland Rock Hounds. The Rock is going to be on the mound first here. Zaxon, 24 years old, 236. Four. Let's see what he can do. Off the ball game to avoid the sweep. Or avoid being eliminated from the playoffs. And that's going to be a good out there. High fly ball. We have that. Wyatt Matheson. Probably see some stars down here from some double A action. Okay. Here, this season, looks like he was sent down. Only had a couple of uh, games. I see Mickey McDonald. This is probably going to be a little rough. And we're going to get to see some double A. We're going to kind of skip around as well. We'll go through the order a couple times, then we'll kind of sim and see how we stand. And that's going to be a good 85 speed.
batting second. The third baseman, Ben Gelman. Gelman just swings at that. There's Calibur. That's going to be hard hit. We're going to send him. That throw is going to be off the mark. Danny Dunn. That looks like it's going to fall, and it will. That's going to score a run there. And the rock counts. Strike first. That's going to be a high fly ball, deep center field, and it's going to die at the track. A Danny Dunn. That's going to be caught. Some good speed out and right. Batting six. The center fielder. Corbin. Oh. Zach Jackson had some decent stats this season. Get some good control for sure. That's up. And that will end your inning. Leading off for Midland, the designated hitter. Nate Ooh, wow. I should have smashed that. I fly a ball, but lazily. And that's going to be hit out and right, trailing though towards the right fielder. All right, Kenny Ivy.
That's lazily out and left. Thing is, I'm not sure if uh, three pitches at the majors is going to be smart. Second baseman, Rene Garcia. We got a piece of it. You make it McDonald again? That's going to get there, but the pitcher is going to cover the bag. What a good change up. Yeah, let's sim a little bit. A quick manage. We're up four. Broke nine. And this is a big one. Rockhounds nine to two off of Zach Jackson pitching a full game, mostly because we're up nine to two. All right, do a little bit of Gonzalez here. McDonald though, doing some work. The final line score for our ball game. And we do win! Taking on the Travelers. This point, one thing I will do. We are out of it. This point is Cease is going to get some looks.
So we didn't see uh, Trey Stupic. We're going to see a little bit of him. And we'll see if James can hit this one. Again, first three innings, and then we'll kind of go through there. One of the best prospects in baseball on the other team. We're the underdogs. Taking on the Arkansas Travelers, Franco Park. Travelers will be out here first. We'll be going up against Justin Dunn. His 4-1 record, 10 starts this season, 4.34 ERA and 1.36 whip in 45 innings. So, Mickey McDonald, the man, the myth, the legend from the first game. They got a double. And he's going to fly out there. Thought it was there. What a good slur. Oh, wow. I thought that was coming back down. What am I doing? All right, Chase. That's going to be hit hard, but easily playable and left. All right. I see one of our good pitching prospects. Probably won't be up in the MLB for another three or four years. Trey Stupik. Or Stupak. He's at least two to three years out. Got him with the four scene. It's also in the All-Star game for the for Double A. We know what he's capable of. We got some stellar All-Star-esque playing at Double A to start out with. He hit hard, but out of bounds or out of play. My bad. That's going to be easily caught at left. Batting third, the center fielder. I fly ball deep into left. It's carrying, but that's going to die on the track. Off. 
All right, Danny Dunn. The first baseman, number 21. Easily caught. A little late on that, but had to protect Cody Thomas. The right fielder, Cody Thomas. Some chim music there. Cody Thomas trying to get something going. That's away. Batting six. The designated hitter. Nate. The third baseman. Good one there. That's straight too short. A good one there. Good crisp slider there. Stupic, kind of struggling here. And locating his pitches. is dropped in center. Wow. That is dropped out in center field. 
And then that is dropped. And here we go. It's just a bad day. Airs all over the place. The dude turned a double play to end the game, or end the uh, inning there, but. Ouch. But we're going to quick manage here. So one more inning. We will do a pitching change to Melbourne. Your attention, please. Now pick up the mid three. Number seventeen. The save here with Eric Ramirez. And you get it. We get that with the Rock Hounds, the first game. A little bit of the final line score for our ball game. Uh, Trey Stupic, but I am not impressed, and that's why is it double A. Rosenthal gets that one. Hurd gets that. And we won the championship series at double A. Uh, we didn't really help out our team all that much. We do have the last start of the season. Um, at this point, I think we probably want it to be a spot start. For someone, uh, let's give it to Cease. We're not going to play this game. We are going to quick manage this. Dylan Cease is going to get the nod here. I see Swartz come in. Play ball. Ball four, take your base. Ball four, take your base. Take your base, ball four. Ground out. Three. We get three there. Give up two more. We put up six. We get a double play. Put up nine. Ball four, take your base. Ball four, take your base. Take your base, ball four. Three. Now we'll end the day for Cease. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Oakland, number 32, James Caprillion. Three. Ball 
ball four. Take the base. Pinch running at first base. Number 17. Lionel. Rangel. Okay, let's enter the game with Rosenthal. We have not uh, played too much. And then from there, we'll kind of sim through the playoffs, see what happens. And then we will be ready next episode to go into the offseason. It'll be a full offseason episode. But I do want to see some Rosenthal to see maybe... Maybe we make a change. Obviously, we got to make a change at closer for next season. We have a lot of stuff to worry about in the bullpen. Also, we'll finally get to see our rookies next season. We're really going to see a lot of them in double A. We fell apart pretty quickly the last two months, mainly because of injuries, I would say. There's a good change up there by Rosenthal. We are in a very difficult division, too. On top of that, we play the Yankees I think 12 times a year. We play the Red Sox like 12 times a year. Astros like 15 or so. So, just with those, it's good. And we play the White Sox like eight times a year. As we take this one from Houston, last game of the season, Dylan Peace gets the win here. But I think he's going to end up being one of our. One of our spotter, uh, starters next season. Probably starting at uh, our number five guy. So we'll kind of see. As we go into it, we are two games under 500. We don't make the postseason. season. The regular season has come to an end. Because here is the bracket. Like this is the Cubs win the wild card over San Diego. So San Diego is knocked out. It's going to be the Cubs and Dodgers against Milwaukee and the Mets. The other side, Toronto beats the White Sox. So it's going to be Toronto against the Yankees, against Houston, and wow, Minnesota up there. As Dodgers take game one against the Cubs, and the Mets take it from Milwaukee. Milwaukee up two games. Dodgers up by two games. Yankees take the first game. So does Minnesota. Minnesota Yankees up there. The other side, Milwaukee and Chicago. Trying to even it up there. And Milwaukee evens it up. The Dodgers beat the Cubs to advance the NLCS. So do the Yankees, and so do the Twins. The ALCS here. Dodgers take game one. Twins take game one and Milwaukee takes game two. The Twins take game two and the Dodgers go up two to one. Milwaukee evens it up. The Twins, an elimination game, cannot seal the deal. Milwaukee trying to get there and Milwaukee it's going to be Minnesota beating the Yankees the twins going to the first World Series that I've seen in a franchise and it's going to be the Brewers against the twins so I'm going to go to the calendar here we're going to have Brandon Woodruff in the first game. And that is blown by the bullpen, it looks like. Hit the Maeda against Corbin 
Burns. And, well, the Brewers are going to even it up there. Minnesota. And that is going to be one. Can Minnesota do it? No, it's evened it up. That's Devin Williams. Eric Lauer in here. And the Brewers. Can they win? No one's going to a game seven. Let's view this organization. Let's. Let's just sim and see what happens. Jose Barrios. One of the biggest starts of his career. And Jose Barrios brings a championship to Minnesota. Tough break there by the Brewers to go down in game seven. But the biggest thing that we have here, I want to look at league leaders. Let's kind of skim through this. The batting average. Uh, this is going to be all here. Whoops, my bad. I should have looked at that. So let's look at who won awards. So MVP goes to Byron Buxton. Okay. Most valuable player. Let's go to the National League first. Going to Cody Bellinger. Awesome. So they do have the, all the rankings. Uh, normally it was just the first one. So that was a fix from previous versions. So Bellinger gets it over Akuna. You Darvish. With, with more strikeouts, less ERA, and less wins, but also less losses as he gets the Cy Young. Corey Seager gets the batting title here with the best batting average of 332, 38 home runs, and 113 RBIs. Reliever of the year goes to Seth Lugo. Jensen, or Jansen's behind him. Craig Kimbrell. So, playoff teams and a .82 ERA. Wow. Rookie of the year goes to Colton Welker of the Colorado Rockies. Six home runs, 35 RBIs, 252. Patrick uh, Dyer's in there. Zach Rex. Christian Yelitz gets Hank Aaron Award. Looks like for the second time in three years. Corey Seager and Akuna behind him. Gold glove for the pitchers goes to Miles Malokas. Austin Gomber behind him in Sext uh, Sexto Sanchez. Gold glove for catchers goes to Jane McCain. You have Real Mudo and Wilson Contreras in there. For first, Freddie Freeman, Trey Mancini. Jerickson uh, Pofar gets it for second. Albini's not too far behind him. Shaw gets it, even though committing a couple more errors does have more attempts and more putouts for third. At short, Paul DeJong gets it for the Cardinals. Nick Ahmed, Trevor Story in there. Tyler O'Neill out in left field. Schwarber is behind him. Harrison Batter is out in center with Bellinger. Mookie Betts out in right. Silver Slugger for pitchers, Ian Anderson, and then also you Darvish. Catcher, TJ Real Mudo, or D, uh, JT, wow, Real Mudo. Wilson Contreras, Freddie Freeman for first, Albides for second, Benny Machado at third. Okay, Nolan Ariendo's in there. Uh, Chris Bryant. Corey Seager for short. Acuna out in the outfield with Bellinger and Yelich. The huge postseason MVP is Tyron Taylor, but uh, unfortunately, the Brewers do not win that one. So, postseason MVP, the American League is Jorge Polanco. We know the World Series MVP, Byron Bruxton. Most viable player, Mike Trout. Mike Trout doing work always. He's won it two of the last three years. Kenta Maeda gets the Cy Young with 20 and 6 record at 1.96. ERA Garrett Cole at 18 and 7. 
17 and 9 for Shane Bieber. All right. Batting title goes to Anthony Rendon with a 244 average. 27 home runs, 100 RBIs. Mike Trout with nearly 50 home runs. The leader of the year goes to Nick Anderson, Tampa Bay. Uh, Hendricks behind him and Taylor Rogers. Rookie of the year goes to Jordan Balazovic. Pitcher for the uh, Twins. It's a 9-5 record, 3.33 ERA. Uh, Kyle Isbell, who we saw a little bit in KC. Then uh, Robert Halcyon has it as third. Wow, just kind of blanking on his name. Hank Aaron Ward goes to Mike Trout. Mike Trout doing Mike Trout things. Gold glove now for pitcher, Kobe Allard. Catcher goes to Christian Velasquez. First goes to Ryan Montecastle or Montecastle. And that's right, Anthony Rizzo is on Tampa Bay. Second base, Cesar Hernandez. Third, Gio Urshela. Uh, Kyle Seeger's in there and Jameer Candelario. At short, Carlos Correa, Miguel Rojas, Rick Galvis. Left field, Michael Brantley, Robbie Grossman. Center is Austin Hayes. Right field, Aaron Judge. Silver Slugger for DH. Uh, Glaber Torres. Catcher, Wilson uh, Ramos. Ismani Grandol's in there. Jose Abreu for first, but who's going to win is Luke Voigt. Second is Brandon Lowe. Josh Donaldson for third. Chapman is in there, not far behind him. So almost picking himself up a silver slugger. For short, Xander Bogertz. Obviously, it's going to be Mike Trout out in the outfield. He was the MVP. Our friend Mel Reyes and Guerrero Jr. has it for the Jays. And that will be that. So let's kind of see the stats. I think we need to see it. Okay, all postseason stats will be cleared. Our first and third base coach, we have to worry about that. Here's your retired players. Flyer. Uh, Delios Correa, uh, Brian uh, Paquette, Rene Rivera. I'm going to see if there's any big names in here. Luis Martinez, J.A. Happ for the Twins, John Jay for the Angles, Kurt Suzuki. Ivan Nova, John Lester, the National with age, his retirement there. Let me go on through. Okay. No one was inducted. Kurt Suzuki snubbed. Okay, here is the offset. You cannot see stats. So I'm going to go through. We are going to have a look, look at the roster, a roster review, a look towards free agency to kind of see what we want to do. 
but just really a stat review. Uh, see who we want to retain, resign, and kind of go from there, especially at the starting pitching. We have three starting pitchers, and we have two spots. And maybe we'll source from free agency. Uh, Castellanos was a big trade, but a trade that has not worked out so far. So maybe we'll move him in the offseason. Who knows? We'll kind of see how that goes. But Michael Lorenzen was a good signing from there, 30 years old. And we'll have to see how that goes. So thank you all for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Later.